Good afternoon everyone, this is James with Steadfast Hobbies and Games, and today we are going to be opening an entire booster box of the new Magic the Gathering series for Kaladesh. So, this is what the box looks like. It is 36 booster packs of Kaladesh, 15 randomly inserted cards, and not much to see. I did pre-cut here, just to save time, but uh, yeah, this might be a little longer video, but let's get to, let's get to cracking and... See if we get some of them nice and sexy masterpieces. Mm. So open up. There's no pamphlet this time. Whenever you open this up, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do that here. We're gonna set it off to the side. And let's just go ahead and grab the metal. We'll grab here, and then we'll grab here. And we'll just kind of push these to the back a little. And uh, let's start. Let's start all right. All right. So we're going to go through this kind of quickly. Uh, if you do want to see any specific card, just pause the video. Mainly, we're going to be looking at rares. And our first rare, starting off pretty good, Spire Bluff Canal. This is a new Speedland, Checkland, I can't remember which one they are, but it's the blue red one, which we hadn't had before. So, And Swampin' Token, so we'll set rares and stuff out right here. And let's just go ahead and go on through. Almost went to the rare. Almost went just straight for it. And Metalwork Colossus. This dude's actually really cool. I have a like sneaking suspicion that somebody is going to mess with that in Affinity. And it'll be glorious because that thing's an 11-11. And it works on total converted mana costs. So of non-creature artifacts. So there's a very strong possibility that it can be, it can do something. We have enough stuff like that. Oh, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I love the puzzle knots. All the puzzle knots seem good in their own way. Like none of them really seem broken, but they seem really good. Uh, Gearport Ori. Yeah. It benefits the other player. It's a little different. Uh, servo token. This is my favorite servo token, by the way. I think it's sweet. All right. Kind of reminds me of the things from Destiny. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but the robot dudes and toward the end of Destiny that you have to fight. That's what they remind me of. Always got to love some inspired charge. This art is sweet. Look at that. That is sweet. I've seen one of these things foil on release weekend, and it is amazing. Uh, let's keep it going here. Let's keep it going here. Huh, a Johnny. And let me marsh another of the lands. And another word, servo token. This set really has got me like excited for magic again like playing this set during the release there's so many options that you can do with this set like it is absolutely incredible and we have trains this is a full-on train i love it there's some cheeky stuff you can do with the new stuff key to the city that's eh, okay it's okay. It's nothing to write home about. It's cool. Built to last a sweet. <laughs> that counter spell, yo. In this format, probably not that good. I like the art for Mine Rod. That actually looks really cool. I like the flavor for this one too. Like they've always done some really good stuff with Mine Rod. Like the Ashiok one was really good. I like the one from Dragons, like you know the Tarkir block. It was really good. Oh, you see it. You see it right there. I see it too. It's a new Nisa. That thing is sweet. 
it's really good. It's a five drop. Uh, plus five drop, five loyalty, plus one untap a land you control until the end of your next turn. It becomes a five five elemental creature with haste that is still a land. Neg three, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Neg six, you get an emblem with whenever a land enters a battlefield under control, you may draw a card. So you go turn five or sooner, depending on what format you're playing, you drop her down. Plus one her. Next turn, emblem her if you want to. Like, yeah, the she is sweet. Not gonna lie. Let's just uh, camera falling a bit. Let's just uh, adjust that. Uh, get that going there. Okay, here we go. And keep keep the train a rolling here. Now, what we're looking at of this set for basically the money stuff is there are there is one vehicle that is really good. That's like a pretty decent value. And we're, we'll be looking for him. We'll be looking for, of course, Nisa's, Chandra's, the lands, because the lands are really good. Uh, we'll also be looking, of course, for masterpieces. They're the invention, so paradoxical outcome is at eh, best. And servo. But we will. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're hoping for. So we'll cross our fingers, and hopefully we'll get to show y'all something pretty. Uh, da, 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 da. Not very many multicolor cards in this set. It's real single color, and I say that and I get like two back to back. But it's real single color oriented, which is neat. Insidious Will I like. I like Insidious Will. This is a really good spell. Especially in a really good standard format, I think it would be fine. Uh, foil Hijack. I'm going to go ahead and set foils off over here. <laughs> I like the in energy mechanic. The energy mechanic was really, really something neat to play with. It, it brought a new element, especially considering that you couldn't just get rid, like your opponent just couldn't get rid of them. And then we have our first gear hole. Oh, I forgot about these. Yeah, green one too. This is the more expensive of the, the five. It's really good. Really good. But like I was saying, the energy mechanic is is neat. It's different. Um, it, it's another resource that you have to manage sometimes, and you can build entire decks around it, and it's really cool, especially in a limited format that uh, unless, you, unless your opponent is playing Gear Hulks, like against me, there was a time when um, there's a blue whale essentially it has a like a real big man or energy cost to return bounce everything and he was sweet um uh, multi-form wanderer now this is another instance of the energy like he is really good with energy we'll kind of we'll kind of move everything uh, we'll try to keep it all let's try to keep everything in 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 frame here Attempt to try to frame it correctly. We'll see. No guarantees. No promises. We just got a couple packs left in the stack. So. Is that hijack again? This thing is sweet. The sky skiff is amazing. I was able to go like sky skiff into a like to crew. Crew a Sky Skiff with a one drop. Crew use a Sky Skiff to crew a six six. To then use the six six to crew one of the train, the eight six train with menace. Like yeah, it was sweet. Uh, our rare is Ovia Pashiri, Sage Life Crafter. Sure, uh, sweet sir. All right, last pack out of this deck. We'll start going through it a little quicker after this, too. Uh, Aether Hub is sweet. I do like Aether Hub. It comes in untapped, which is really good. Kind of ruined the, the surprise there. Animation module. Uh, yeah, it's okay. 
Yeah, I think internal formats or like even casual stuff will get more use out of this than like a standard format right now, but it's it's okay. All right, on to the middle stack. And we'll just kind of go through. This thing is sweet though. This is infinity now and limited essentially. Like, oh, I think it's great. There's so many good artifacts too. And another mythic, Demon of the Dark Schemes. This thing is really good too. It's almost a six mana, like, 5-5 five, five flyer board wipe. Like, depending on what they have on the other end, it's really good. And then it's, that ability is sweet too. Like, it is really, really good. Only one foil so far, which is a little out of the norm. Uh, we had a couple other boxes that we've opened that had a really good foil ratio. But we still got over half a box to go, so... Alright, like I said, we're going to go through this. If I see anything absolutely crazy I want to talk about, we'll talk about it. Uh, concealed Courtyard, so we're three. Yeah, three of the land so far, which ain't bad. I'm okay with that ratio. There's not a lot of tip cards in this either. I was just kind of like, I mean, they got them on the backs, but they're more tokens. Like, there's more, less, almost useless trash. This thing, I love. I love this thing. It drew me so, I'd open so many of those, and it drew me so many cards and let me get in with, like, big, big things. Diabolic Tutor, sweet. Love that new art. Midnight Oil. Let's see, we have a Foil Workshop assistant, assistant. It's kind of neat. Getting stuff back. Right, set a foil over there. All right, let's keep the train rolling here. There's the see. Look at that train, man. The train is so good. This thing is sweet. Unlicensed disintegration is sweet. And I see something back there that I'm excited for. And yes, new Chandra. This thing is amazing. Four drop, four loyalty walker, plus one exile the top card of your library. You may cast that card. If you don't, Chandra deals two damage to each opponent. Plus one, add two red to your mana pool. Neck three, she deals four damage to a target creature. Or you neck seven, you get an emblem with whenever you cast a spell, this emblem deals five damage to target creature or player. This thing is busted. You get this in limited, this thing is busted. You play this in standard, this thing is, oh, And she's so pretty too, look at that face. Oh, that thing is, that is sweet. That is, oh, I'm excited for that. That made the box worth it right there. <laughs> She is, oh, she is so good. <clears throat> so, so far, one, two, three, the Gear Hulk, the do. so we have four Mythics so far out of the first, not even half of the box, so. So far, we are looking a really nice, a really nice. Oh, that's neat. Uh, Bomat Carrier's okay. It's kind of hard to get excited about little, some of the rares now after getting that that Shindrara. But we'll see if we can manage. All right. Uh, field inspection demolish. Nothing. Nothing crazy yet. Uh, oh, we got a. Oh, that's a foil. Okay, here we go. Uh, captured by the consulate. Uh, this thing is actually really sweet. I like this, and especially since. Uh, they try to play a kill spell, it has to target this. Like, they can't kill their own thing. Or they have to kill their own thing. They have a foil of the new blue legendary. He seems okay. He seems okay. He'll enable some strategies, I'm sure. He'll probably be, he's probably a lot better than what I'm making out to be, but to me, he's kind of the, the eh of the set. Like, he's not real hyped. He's kind of there. Just meandering around. And maybe drawing a card. Prophetic Prism Art is sweet, though. And let's see here. Yeah. Faithful Showdown. I love the story cards. Like, and you'll see here, like, where it says Story Spotlight. These things are sweet. Feel sorry for her, though. It says Tezzeret. And Tezzeret's a boss. 
He's a boss. All right, we're gonna try to make this go a little quicker. We're already 15 minutes in, so let's just go ahead and. You've seen most of these anyway. Anything absolutely stunning? Hey, there's four. Are they all different? They are all different. So hey, we only need if we get that last one. I think it's a red white one. We hit the we hit the motherland. Get it? It's a land joke. I know I'm not very good at this. I try. At least I'm talking. At least I'm trying to be entertaining. Fumigate is sweet. The crop duster thopter. Let me look at no, no, almost. Trying to kill all the little gremlins. Those pests. Yeah. <laughs> a little too excited about fumigate. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, let's keep it going here. Keep it going. Keep it going. It's a prophetic prism. We have tool crafter exemplar. He's he's neat. I like this dude, especially with clues being a thing. Like, I have a feeling the ones that say if you control an artifact, if you have this many artifacts. Like, I know, like, the metalwork dude didn't get much out of that, but it still seems really nice. Ah, Dapala. She's actually really cool. Dwarf Lord. It's one of the new legendary creatures. Like, she was one of the first ones spoiled for the set, and I really enjoyed her at first. I know she kind of seems a little lackluster, but uh, I enjoy her. Like, I want to see if somebody can do something with her. Especially since there's not really a good red-white commander anyway. Like, I want to see if they can, they, somebody can do something with her. Let's see. Uh, land. This thing is sweet. It's basically a three mana, eight damage off two turns. Like, it is not amazing, but this thing is, oh, this thing was so good over the weekend. All right, last deck. Again, we've only gotten two foils really out of this, so well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, another train. Let's keep it going. Ooh, Authority of the Councils. This thing is amazing, especially if you play it with like a bounce thing to where you're making them have to play their creatures again. You're gaining life off it, and, and limited at least. And it, I'm gonna preference this now, like. I'm going to talk about it in a limited format because I think that's where the most fun of a lot of sets are. Uh, legacy or eternal type formats or even... Uh, is that what I think it... Okay, we're going to get there in just a second. So right now we have a dubious challenge. This thing is bad. So before I, before I go to this next card, because I think it is what I think it is... Um, I'm just going to say, I'm going to talk about these in a limited format type deal because that's where I think the most fun of a lot of sets come from is limited, uh, draft, sealed, stuff like that. So uh, I do have, like, I play standard, I play commander, I play, you know, legacy type formats, but this is, this is bad. And this, though, is not bad. This is sweet. So this is one of the new masterpieces, uh, masterpiece inventions. And they have a special foiling, as you can see, it's mainly just the border, as I kind of moved the light around there. Uh, the pictures are not foil, but the foil has that from the vault feel to it. And this, uh, this you get like one in every four boxes, I think is what they've acquired the ratio to. And like it's a Gear Hulk, which is not. I'm not going to say it's not what you don't want to pull because these are still sweet, but there's a lot of really good reprints and artifacts like Mana Crypt and Mana Vault and Lightning Greaves and Soul Ring and Rings of Bright Hearth and on and on and on and on. So the five Gear Hulks are the only thing out of the new set that got printed like this. They're still sweet. This is sweet. And yeah, so we're just going to take this and we're just going to... You know, he's going up here. He's he's the pride of our box right now. He's he's a little bit better. I'm a little more excited for him than the Chandra. <laughs> the Chandra will probably see, like, it's the Green Hulk, so he'll probably see play, and he'll probably be really good. But right now, um, oh, this 
box was so good. Uh, another Padim. Yeah, we don't care about Padim now. Uh, Padim is kind of like out there. We got a foily one of you somewhere hidden in the stack that I forgot to pull out to the side for foils. So that's the thing. He's in there somewhere, but uh, but yeah, we got we got bigger things going on right now. Uh, Dynavolt Tower. I did not actually get to play with this over the weekend. I really wanted to. Ah, oh, that makes me so happy. I don't even care that it's not even, like, something crazy. I don't care that it's not something, like, absolutely just insane. That thing is... Oh, those things are sweet. Uh, Shahili's Artistry. Eh, it's okay. Just not this one. I'll show you. If I come across my favorite island art, I'll show you that. Because there is one that is really sweet. Like, I'm talking... I'm talking sweet. Like, if I could get that as a big, like, huge painting, I probably will. Uh, we have Master Tinkerter. Eh, he's, it's okay. Servo Lord. He's all right. He's no, he's no Masterpiece Gear Hulk up here. It would be sweet if we got something else like that in this, like... I know it's impossible. Like it, it's really they've uh, the allocation for those has been dumb. This thing is really cool, it, and it's really okay. It's just a little too high cost, I think, for what it does. Okay, so we got a couple things here. Uh, confiscation coup, another story card, which is sweet. Uh, since five of five is the last one, um, and then we have a foil riparian tiger. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Riparian Tiger. <laughs> but again, it's no Gear Hulk. <laughs> okay, that was that was bad. We've got another foil. Okay, so the foils are starting to roll in. Prophetic Prism's cool. We got some focus going on here. Going a little too fast. Sorry. Um, Cultivator's Caravan. This thing is weird. <laughs> there was a lot of judge calls about this over the weekend because. If it comes down, it's a mana rock. It's a three. It's a three-drop mana rock. It'll add one of the mana of any color to your mana pool. But if you crew it, it becomes a creature. But it doesn't become a creature until you crew it. So this will come down, be able to tap for mana on the first turn. But if you crew it on the first turn, it can't tap for mana. I don't know why that was a thing, but it was a thing this weekend, and there were so many judge calls on that. So anyway. Uh, Foily, Armorcraft Judge, which is really cool. We'll set that back over now. Uh, keep it going, keep it going. Camel. Pretty camel. There are now two camels in the history of magic. And let's take a look here. We have this thing is sweet. Uh, Smuggler's Copter. This thing is really cool. It's only one to crew, two drop, one to crew. This is a better one of the, what you call it, the skiffs. And yeah, this thing is sweet. Uh, Contraband Kingpin. I like this thing. I, I really like it for like, I know it's in the wrong colors really for the clues, but if you can find a good way to pair it with clue stuff, like it seems pretty, really good. Just being able to scry every time something comes in, and being a two drop, being low cost enough, he he has a place. He really does. Uh, Cloud Blazer, Armorcraft. This thing is gonna be dumb. In Commander, I can already see somebody killing someone with that. Like that is already just. Mmm, mm, it is stupid. All right, couple more packs left. Let's see if we get anything as notable as that uh, that their masterpiece. Uh, eliminate the competition. I kind of like this card. This card is really good. I don't like the whole having to sacrifice, but you, it, it's like a board wipe in, in and of itself. If you just really have to kill something in black, if you just really have to kill a bunch of stuff, it's the option you have. It's an option you have. Like it's it's really good. All right, last pack. Here we go. Let's see what we get. We'll kind of slow roll this one a bit. 
Go a little slower. Another puzzle knot. I don't like the green one as much. I like the other ones. Hunter Wheat's got some new art though. It's sweet. And Hunter Wheat. One more. Right. Oh, we ended on a high note. This is another mythic for the box. God, this was a good box. Torrential Gear Hulk. Uh, blame the thing. So this thing is the big, like, the new Snapcaster, so to say. Like, people have been hyping this thing up, and he is really good. He's a five mana, five six with Flash. The Flash is really what sells it. And he comes in and says, "Hey, pick any instant out of your graveyard. Play it without its mana cost." Like, oh, it is really, really good. Yeah, this thing is sweet. All right, so that's the box. Uh, I'll set him up here just so you can kind of see. I'll kind of scoop back a bit. Uh, so things of note, uh, no real big foils. We did get the foil. The, our foil rare for the box essentially was um, the Padim. We were able to pull a masterpiece out of this box. We also got a Chandra and Nissa. We got four of the five lands, which is really good. I've seen no average has been about three. It's been about three, but we got four out of five, so that's the thing. Uh, the blue gear hulk, the green gear hulk, the demon dude. It was a really good box. Um, we got the copter. Like, this was a really good box. And just to end it, we're going to come back here with this. This beautiful, beautiful work of art here. Like, this is... Mmm, mm, this is sexy. So... But anyway, like I said, so as I put this back, uh, that's been the box opening for Kaladesh. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this set is just now released, and hopefully your pulls will be this epic. And, oh, this, is, this box was so, so good. So anyway, this has been James with CFS Hobbies and Games. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you all for sticking with me through the videos. We're up now to about 27 minutes, and I just appreciate your time. We hope you all have a good gaming thing, and keep everything epic.